Okay, in this fourth part um, of this video series, uh, I'm going to put the doors and windows in the house. Um, and I'm also going to begin the video here uh, by demonstrating the offset tool, um, which is that little arrow with the two little curved lines. Um, what it does is, if you take a shape like a rectangle, like I just took with that door, um, and you, you could draw a parallel line, um, just by running the mouse inside that box. I'll do it several more times in this video. Um, what I'm doing here is is uh, drawing a, the door jam instead of using a, a pre-finished drawing out of the uh, SketchUp library I'm drawing my own doors and windows. Uh, I like them better that way because they're, they're simpler and more lightweight. Um, in terms of uh, memory usage on the computer, so your SketchUp drawing runs faster if you have a bunch of uh, if you have simpler drawings inside of it. I'm drawing another uh, rectangle. This will be the door itself, and here I'll use that offset tool again. After I push the thickness, I am uh, there. I just pushed it to one, one and a half inches. Now I'll use that offset tool again. And this time I'm going to type in six inches and it'll leave it six inches away from the side. Having a little trouble here with pushing that through, so instead I'll push it through actually type in 1.5 and um, that'll knock that center out nicely. Now I'm going to pull up the bottom make the window in it a little bit smaller I'm going to draw a couple lines uh, this way the uh, offset tool doesn't uh, run up the sides there of that that window, it'll actually make some pretty complex shapes. Again, six inches. And this is just to push it in to make a little decorative um, uh, part of that door. Remove those lines that were just guidelines. Now I'm going to draw the glass after I push the door in. I'll speed the film up here in a second. Just bear with me. Uh, just drawing another rectangle. And that filled in because it was actually in the in the group. I don't want to be in the group in this case. I, I just want to make a new group next to it. So I drew four lines, select all, connected, make group. And now I'm going to color it using a transparent fill. I'm just going to push that glass in a little bit to make it look more real. Okay. Now the next thing I'll do is uh, uh, shift-click all those things and uh, make a component uh, in case I want to use that whole door as uh, as a uh, separate object. I'll make a, a door knob later. Forgot to do that when I was drawing this originally. Now I'm going to speed up the film and uh, whip up some windows. Same process though. Use that draw rectangle, use the offset tool, push things in. I'm making components out of um, each individual sash, window sash, um, and then the window itself is a component, so if I need to make changes later I can. Now I'm drawing a 2030 window. The, f the first ones were 2040 or 2x4 windows. This is a 2x3 window. I'm also going to use the same window in the kitchen. Okay, all the windows and doors are done. Now I'll move on to doing the trim. Slow down again just briefly. 
Um, the trim I'm actually going to draw are just 2x4s. Two 2x4s two will provide um, enough, enough depth um, for the siding. And a uh, and a small gap, of course, uh, uh, between the siding and the sheathing, which which you need a little air gap in there, which I'll probably show in the fifth video. I'm going to speed up the film again, show how I'm trimming it out. Just, I'm just pulling those past the roof. Um, since I can go up there and, and push those through, I'm just going to copy those, paste them over on the other side. But I also just noticed that I had those positioned wrong. So I'm just cleaning up those tops, copy, paste, stick it over on the other side. Now I'm going to copy both sides, paste them on the back. Okay, now I'm going to do the windows. And I'm actually, when I do one window, one of these 204 windows, I'm actually going to make a component out of the, the um, grouping of 2x4s that is the trim around one window so I can copy and paste it around to the other sides to save time. I'm actually going to then do the same thing here, make this one unique. Oops, make this one unique. <laughs> and... Uh, and that way I can have a 2030 window trim too. And that's that. Putting it in its own layer. Uh, in the next video, I'll throw on the siding and the roofing. Which, uh, oh, uh, here what I'm doing is uh, uh, adjusting these guys so that I can put in, so I can basically box the eave and put in a piece of plywood here to box that eave in. All right, I'll see you in the next video.